Hey drummers, if your cymbals are breaking or you're wondering why there are cracks in your cymbals, you're in the right place right now. Hey everybody, Evan here with The Two Musician, where our mission here is to help drummers get better, get past those plateaus that we all face as drummers and just find more motivation with drumming in general. And today's question, why do cymbals break? Why do cracks keep showing up in my cymbals? Why do cymbals break? If this is a question that you're asking, you are in the right place. The simple answer to this question is cymbals break because we hit the crap out of them. We Hulk smash them until there is no end in sight. That's why they break. We're hitting the crap out of these things with hickory rods, with all our might when we don't need to. That's a quick answer. With that being said, there are some things that we can do to prolong our cymbals lives. I can't guarantee that following these methods will make your cymbals last forever, but I can guarantee that the percentage is higher that they'll last longer, and following these things that we're about to go over is only gonna help you, it's only gonna help your cymbals, and it's gonna help you save money. Because let's be honest here, let's be real. Cymbals are not cheap. So, five reasons why cymbals could be breaking. Disclaimer, you will meet tons of drummers. Some drummers who have been drumming for 182 years who swear they've never broken a cymbal ever in their career. And then you meet other people who drum and they say that they break a cymbal every other year or every year or every few months or whatever it is. So this varies across the board. There are gonna be people that disagree with some of the things in this video and some people that agree with those and I'll kind of dispel those and go over those as well. So let's go over right now, five reasons why your cymbals are breaking, why they are cracking. Number one, we already went over, excessive force. To prevent this, we need to use appropriate playing techniques, which we'll go over here in just a bit. Number two, improper mounting. And this has to do with cymbal sleeves and ensuring that the wing nut or the lock nut is not too tight, it's not too loose, it doesn't wobble a whole bunch, and it also isn't stiff. More into that here in a little bit as well. Number three, metal fatigue. And this is one of those that really relate to number one with the excessive force. We can't really avoid this. And it's just as we hit the cymbal, every time we are behind the drums, whether it's we're crashing on it constantly, or we just do you know a backbeat snare and, and crash, or we crash on one when the fill ends, whatever it is, metal fatigue, eventually it's gonna break down because we're hitting the cymbal so much which goes back to my point about we can do all these things that's gonna help prolong our cymbals lives, but I'm not guaranteeing that your cymbals will never break. If you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and also share this video, it'll really help out a lot. Number four, inadequate protection during transport. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you're playing shows, if you're doing concerts, whatever, make sure your cymbals are either in a cymbal case, a cymbal bag, or at the very least, some moving blankets. Because if you have your cymbals and you're banging them up against everything and moving them from show to show, and they're banging against each other, that damage could add up and that could eventually lead to cracks. And so we wanna minimize the risk of damage there with a cymbal case, a cymbal bag, or some moving blankets. Number five in this one, can be one of those ones where drummers agree or disagree, but there are some drummers who swear by extreme temperature changes with their cymbals. Say you have your cymbals stored in a really cold environment and then immediately you go to a warm environment and start bashing on the cymbals right away, or vice versa. They were in a really warm environment, you go to a really cold environment and you start bashing on those cymbals. Those rapid temperature changes can cause the metal to expand and contract and it's gonna weaken it. And I've heard stories of drummers who have had their cymbals in warm environments and gone to play in, in really cold environments right away and their cymbal basically cracked, it, it shattered. And I've seen and heard multiple stories about this. So I would just recommend that if you are changing temperatures rapidly, that you maybe let your cymbals acclimate to whatever temperature the room is that you're playing or, or wherever it is you are. Out of all these reasons that cymbals may break, what is the reason that your cymbals break the most? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go into some things that you can do to help minimize cymbal breakage and to help combat this. So number one, using proper playing techniques, going back to using excessive force and that's the cause of cymbal breaking. A few things that we can do to help with excessive force with cymbals is one, angle the cymbals towards you. This is one of the best things that you can do as it's not straight up and down and you're not constantly hitting the edge of the cymbal, you have more of an angle 
so you can kind of hit into the bow a little bit there. So this is also something that's debated within the drumming community, and that's hitting this cymbal with a sweeping motion with the glancing blow. Coming in at the cymbal at an angle, really just a, a, a swishing, you know, swooping motion. Versus Now this is debated because there's a lot of drummers who say that is the most inefficient way to use our muscles when playing. It's just a, a waste of energy, I guess you could say, because the argument is, okay, what about when you're crashing on the ride or you're playing really fast? And I'll agree with that. I've tried to in the past to use a swishing, swooping motion, whatever you want to call it, this glancing blow, and it works for things where you may just be doing a beat or you need to crash on one for the fill. But it doesn't necessarily translate to playing faster things because you can't, it's harder to do this sweeping motion when you're playing faster. One of the things that I would recommend is when we hit the cymbals, we don't have to hit them like Hulk. We are not cavemen, we don't have to bash. I know it's fun and I do it and I've been guilty. I mean, I have tons of broken cymbals over the years. This is one of them, that's another one. And there's a story for that one. But if you don't wanna do this, this glancing blow, you can get the sound that you want from your cymbal hitting it much less harder. I hit it a little less aggressively there, and that's something that you can do. And so the argument I've heard is that when you just hit it like a caveman versus a sweeping motion, it actually chokes the sound of the cymbal. I don't know how true that is and if that's dependent on how tight you have the lock nut or the wing nut. So other than keeping it angled and, and hitting it with the swishing motion uh, or the sweeping motion, or just hitting it with less oomph, Something else we gotta pay attention to is, are, do we have the wing nut on there at a decent tightness? It's not too tight, it's not too loose. And also, do you have a cymbal sleeve so we don't have that metal on metal contact because that can cause keyholing, it can cause cracks up here in the bell when you're hitting it um, and it's rubbing against you know, the metal, the metal, metal contact, um, and it's hitting that and then Heavier, you know, when we're hitting it and bashing on the edge of the cymbal, that's where, you know, edge cracks and even inner cymbal cracks can come from. Especially the inner cymbal cracks can happen a lot with thinner cymbals up here near the uh, bell and then down the bow a little bit. And then heavier cymbals actually, you can get cracks. I've mainly gotten cracks towards the edge with heavier cymbals. But I will say, with that whole thing I just went over about not hitting the cymbal too hard, if you want loud, louder cymbals, just get heavier cymbals so you don't have to wail on your thinner cymbals as much.